Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Um, it is Tuesday and we're kind of, the whole town is just kind of all a flutter. Uh, it is snowing and uh, I've said before we don't get much snow so uh, uh, we're just all so excited. Uh, my daughter called and said, gotta go get my, my daughter in. And I tell you, when I got out, I've got a van that's heavy, and when I got out, uh, I was sliding, and somebody was coming toward me on the street in front of me, like they were, they were weaving so bad, it was like they were drunk, so I whipped into my driveway right quick, and I ended up sliding and sliding over into the people next door's yard, and uh, so, you know, it was, it was wild. And so when it started snowing, I ran to the grocery. I literally drove to the grocery and just started buying stuff. Um, I don't know what it is. I always say, if you're in the South and it starts to snow, you, you have to go buy milk and bread and eggs, butter, whether you need it or not, because it's, it's like the law. You know, you have to do it because everybody does it. So I just started buying stuff. I bought pork chops and I bought masses of potatoes. And I think we think, I mean, we might get an inch, but we think that we're going to be snowbound forever and we'll never get out again. And so uh, I just started buying. I was just going through. I called and Doug, you know, what, what do I buy next? What should I get? Do I, hamburger, pork, you know, what, what do I need? So uh, it was wild and I, I stepped outside to, uh, my hair's kind of a mess, I stepped outside to, um, I, I'm kind of looking out uh, instead of the camera because there's teenagers that live across the street and they're out taking movies, they've got their dogs and I could hear all the kids next door, they were whooping it up and everybody was screaming and throwing snowballs and stuff like that and everybody just having a real good time. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's sort of our excitement. Uh, we don't, like I said, we don't get much snow, so when we do, we really enjoy it. Uh, I wanted to kind of show this sweater. I think I've shown it before, but I just like it so much, I'm going to show it again. I made it, uh, and it's just a, a tunic sweater, but it has a great big cowl neck that goes down in the back, and then you make, like, you um, braid little pieces of yarn and tie it, you know, to kind of keep it up decent on the front, but then it's got that little dip in the back that sort of makes things interesting. Uh, today I'm going to do, I think the next, I did a tag last time, but today and then maybe the next two or three uh, people that are tagged me, and I just really like to get tags done uh, for people because, you know, they're nice enough to tag me and they always link my channel and stuff, and so that sort of brings people to my channel, and so um, I wanted to uh, do this, and this one is, uh, I was tagged by my, one of my best friends, uh, Jerry. Uh, she has two channels, Hello Jerry and, and uh, My Life Inspired By. And of course, I'll link both of them, uh, Jerry, well, you know how I feel about you. And uh, so it is the uh, Bought and Forgot. <laughs> I just want to say that, Bought and Forgot. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started so this won't run too fast. I've got a big basket here. And so I'm going to start with shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I used the Red Can Color Extend Shampoo and Conditioner for years. And then, um, you know, I started watching YouTube and I started like trying the Lanza. And, uh, and I kind of got back again also, and I should have done it and bought and forgot. The um, Living Proof, uh, at one time I had used it and thought it made my hair fall out, but then I realized I was sick at the time and low on vitamins and stuff, and that's why my hair was falling out, because um, I had, I've been using it again too, and it's doing just fine. But, uh, but this is a really good shampoo and conditioner. I used it for years. It really, um, you're, it doesn't too heavy but it conditions enough. It's a creamy shampoo and conditioner, and uh, it's one that, like I said, I used for a long time and always had good hair when I did it, so uh, that's one I need to revisit. I need to revisit the, uh, what's it called, the sponge? I forgot. I forgot. I have gone blank on the sponge, the name of it, but anyway, you know, it's the it's the one that everybody uses. Well, I had tried to use it and did, I, I apologize for that, that I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but uh, I had uh, used it dry. 
and didn't like it, but I held on to it because everybody really liked it. So I'm going to revisit it and use it damp. Uh, that's what uh, several people have told me I need to do. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I had really, really wanted to, I had been looking at the, of course I say naked, but I'm just saying naked, at the Naked 3. I had finally seen it at, um, I think, a, maybe at Ulta or Sephora in person. And uh, one of the, well, one of the people that watch my videos, one of the few here in town that know about it, uh, she brought it uh, in for me to see. She had it, and it was just so pretty. And I just thought, no, no, I'm not buying anything right now. I feel like everybody else after Christmas, I sort of try to be in a no-buy. So I thought, well, you know what I have that I have forgotten about are the Naked and the Naked 2. And you know, they are still, I haven't used them up. Uh, and it, you know, I cared enough at one time to buy them. So uh, I should be using them. So uh, I don't have much today, but uh, the past couple of days I have been fiddling with the uh, naked two and boy, you can really get some nice colors and and then I'm going to revisit the naked two uh, naked also not naked two two but naked also and uh, you know that perfectly good and just you know got so much you know got whole things of it left so um, you know kind of a shame I need to use it up before I even look at the naked two and then there. What, which one is it that is that chocolate thing? It is at the Naked, but I think I saw it on Lori over 40's channel that she used it, and I keep looking at it, but I'm resisting. And of course, two more that are just absolutely beautiful are the Sonia Kashuk's. The, I think this is one of them is the matte, and one of them is the shimmer. Uh, you can use them together separately. Uh, got a whole bunch of them left, but... Um, you know, I figured out I've really got enough eyeshadows palettes to last me probably for a lifetime. Um, oh, but those pretty ones keep coming out, and then what's going to happen? I'm going to buy them, and then some more pretty ones are going to come out, and I'm going to buy them, and then, you know, we're going to have more bought and forgot. So, it's just a shame. It's just a shame. It really is. Um, I had bought the, this is another one, the Alma, Alma uh, Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow for uh, Trio for Greens. Beautiful, beautiful, and golly, I need to be using this. Um, just so pretty, you know. I'm going to be doing another tag, uh, that I was tagged by Lori, where, um, you know, everybody says, oh, you've got blue eyes. Well, they're really not. They're green. I don't know why they appear blue on camera. Actually, they're, they're sort of turquoise. They're blue-green, sometimes gray. But uh, I, I, on, on the ones that I bought that are just big mistakes, and, when we're, and I'm going to do a tag about it uh, some other time, uh, I bought this trio in the blues, and it did not work for me at all. But the, the greens for the green eyes are just, uh, you know, in fact, I'm going to put it in my makeup bag because I don't think you could get any prettier than that. If you've got green eyes, it is just absolutely gorgeous. So, i going to get that back out again. And then, these are several things that I'm going to grab. Hopefully, this video, I don't think it's going to be too long. Okay. I was looking for eyeshadows. I was looking for eyeshadows to uh, to do for the Natalie technique, and I was trying to find the one that was the best one to use. And so I bought a whole bunch of them. I ended up uh, thinking probably the best to the best one was the uh, Mary Kay uh, at Play uh, stick, shadow stick and the Mally. But I bought all of these to try. And, uh, you know, they're all lovely. I've got some purples, I've got some grays, uh, some pinks, uh, some browns, and, you know, there's just a whole thing of them that I tried that are in perfectly good shape, and maybe I tried one or two times, and, uh, you know, just a shame, just a shame. Uh, so I'm going to try to revisit those. 
NARS eyeshadows, the little singles here. Really two pretty colors. NARS is a gluten-free company. I need to support them more. Um, one of them is kind of a mauve color, and the other one is like a chocolate color. And that two, those two together, like on the, the lid with the light color and in the crease and smudged underneath my eyes, just these two, oh my goodness, they make such a pretty look. And, you know, got the little mirror and everything. Of course, they've barely been used. So I need to get those back out again. Uh, let's see, speaking of NARS, a beautiful NARS pink lipstick. Just lovely. Let's see if I can see, I can't tell the color. I believe it is a flower. Really pretty color. Kind of a more pink than peach, but really pretty, really, really pretty. Like I said, you know, I can always trust the NARS um, lipsticks. Evidently, I just don't get around to it. And to go with it is a NARS lip liner. Um, I know why I was using, looking for a substitute at one time for my, uh, for the Max Spice, and this was a close one. It's up here. This one was a close one, uh, but it just wasn't quite. So that's why I had used it. But I bet if I lined my lips and then put my pink lipstick over it, like I like I like to do, uh, that you know I need to I need to use it up and before I buy other things. A Smashbox Trio, really, really pretty. And I remember I used it one time when I did a video and got lots of compliments on the way my eyes looked. So that's one I need to get out again. And I will, see if I don't. Uh, this is, I don't know if anybody's ever tried the Estee Lauder br brushes. I bought this a long time ago and then you know, with other brushes that you get, uh, it just kind of got uh, tossed to the side. But it's just such one of those brushes that's kind of tapered, soft. It's really easy to get into your crease or put eyeshadow or as a highlighter. But it's just a nice brush. I like it because, see, it's blue. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a clear blue. So it's distinguished from the, your other brushes that have black handles. And so sometimes it's easier to find that way. And then this is the last but not least, and I used this for a long time. My earlier videos, I always used this lipstick. It was the Powdown Pink 14 Hour May Maybelline Super Stay 14 Hour, yes. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Looks so nice on me. I forget to wear it. I, you know, I'm on that, uh, I don't have it on now, but I am on that. Uh, kick where I love to line my eyes with the Max Spice liner, and I'm going to try the NARS too to see how it does. But to line my lips and then use the three custom color dupe for um, <clears throat> Rose Amethyst, uh, and because I just love that look so much that uh, you know I've kind of my little 14 hour I just kind of kind of forgot about it. But uh, anyway, so that's my tag for that. I thank Jerry so much for tagging me. Anybody that does a YouTube channel, I hope I haven't put, I've been scratching my nose, it's itching. Uh, the snow's picking up again. Uh, I hope anybody that has a YouTube channel will consider doing this. Um, I think you will find that, you know, you have some, um, you have some makeup products that you can really give some love to and, uh, you know, golly, we're such a disposable society, I think, nowadays, and it just, we buy, 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 and then toss it to the side or toss it out or whatever. <clears throat> and I hate to see that happen, even though I do, even though I do want that chocolate thing that, that Lori talked about. But anyway, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get it. But anyway, everybody stay warm. It's so exciting. Oliver's so cute in the snow, and, uh, the whole neighborhood, the whole town just go crazy. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and everyone have a wonderful warm day. Bye-bye. Beauty Blender. That's what it's called. Beauty Blender. My mind sometimes doesn't work right, but that was driving me crazy and I thought and I thought and I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. What is your name? 
Beauty Blender by, sorry, back again. Um, on this eye right here, I did this Almay for greens, and I think I like it better. Oh, somebody sliding. I think I like it better than what I originally had on. What do you think? I think it makes my eyes pop out better. I just kind of did it uh, by feel, so I may not have blended very well or anything, but I don't know. I thought it looked pretty good. 